Hey guys, C Drama Invasion here. Welcome back to a new Chinese drama updates videos. This week we had a couple of drops from Chinese dramas as well as many dramas that wrapped up. Quick shout out to all the people who recently bought me Kofi. If you do want to support me a little bit more, then you can check out links in the description box below to my Kofi page. Anyways, let's just jump in. On October 12th, we had Palace Devious Woman airing. This has 30 episodes and it aired on Mango TV. It's a historical romance fantasy drama starring newer actors Zhao Jiamin and Ryan Ju. This is a web drama and the duration of one episode is only 5 minutes, so a fairly quick watch. Not sure if there's English subtitles yet since it's fairly new and Mango TV tends to take around a month or so to actually put out proper subs, rather than the automatic one provided by like Google Translates or similar platforms. The female lead is writing a screenplay, however it was altered by her colleague and without her permission she ends up being altered and then she time travels into the screenplay itself and she travels to the world where she is now the concubine of the third prince. After making this video and editing it, I realized that it is available on YouTube up to episode 12 by now with English subtitles, which is great. It's actually being subbed by a page called China Huan Yu Entertainment Official China, so it's not Mango TV. But since it's so short, I'll probably end up checking it out soon. Next is a 32 episode drama called The Truth. This drama airs on October 15th. It's a thriller mystery law drama starring Chen Xingxu and Gai Yueshi. This is a web series about two people who form a appointed team and they are prosecutors. If you're a fan of Oliver Chen, he was in Goodbye My Princess and a lot of people were interested in his dramas, then maybe check this one out. It seems to be a little bit different from his typical dramas, but it's nice to see him try to do other things and be more versatile. And probably the biggest premiere of the week is Rebirth For You starring Zhu Jingyi and Joseph Zheng. This is a historical romance political drama with 48 episodes and it airs on, well it originally was supposed to air on October 18th but they put out a statement saying that it will air one day ahead of schedule which is October 17th. This is a story about a smart female lead and a strong male lead. They end up being married and they kind of help the imperial court become balanced. They also help the young emperor try to stabilize his court and remain a peaceful era. Personally, I'm a bigger fan of Zhu Jingyi in historical dramas. I feel like so far her modern dramas has not really impressed me. I still think that The Legend of Yunxi is her best work and I'm looking forward to see her in another smart female lead role. In other Zhu Jingyi news, she also has an upcoming Shansha drama called Hua Rang, which she's starring with Guo Jun Shen. They recently finished filming on October 13th and she shares costume photos of her behind the scenes with her cats to celebrate. Some other dramas that recently concluded its filming is To Our Dreamland of Ice. This is a 36 episode Chinese sports friendship drama starring Oh Ho Oh and Liang Jia. This is dedicated to the 2022 Winter Olympics in China. I think specifically this one is based off of speed skating. Aichiyi also announced that Victoria Song and Sunny Wang will be starring in a new drama called Beloved Life. This is a 36 episode drama that follows resident doctors. This is about two best friends who are pretty much on the same level. However, they end up being competitors in their field to reach the top spot and become the best at what they do. Although there is romance, I think most of the drama will be focused on the lives of the two women and their friendship. On October 15th, Yang Zi and Cheng Yi's drama, Agarwood Like Crumbs, officially wrapped up filming. They took some snaps with some co-workers and posted it online. There's going to be so much great Shansha dramas next year. I've been actually missing them this year. I think so far we only have 
miss the dragon and ancient love poetry this year hopefully we do get some more before the end of the year happens but if not there's so many to look forward to next year and perhaps i might make a top 10 anticipated shansha dramas of 2022 list so keep an eye out for that to make sure to turn on notification bells to all and the next interesting piece of news is that the popular Korean drama One Spring Night has announced that they will be making a Chinese adaptation. The drama is currently in pre-production, so they're currently working on the casting and just polishing the scripts. So there probably won't be an announcement until a couple months further down the line. One Spring Night originally stars Jung Hae-in and Han Ji-min. It had 32 episodes and it's about a older female lead and a younger male lead. It has many heartwarming moments and it's basically about two people that despite the whole world telling them not to fall in love, they end up anyways and there's just so many instances that is relatable or it has a deeper social message. I really liked the original version. There was a lot of complexity in the characters which had me engage in their story and hopefully the same will translate well in the Chinese version. We also have some news for Mirror's Twin Cities, which is an upcoming drama starring Yuki Chen and Li Yifeng. This is a historical wuxia fantasy drama. It finally went through the reviews and got licensed for 47 episodes. We're just now waiting for it to air. Rumors are that this one will air around the winter season. The male lead is a merman, he's a sea prince, and the female lead is a female disciple of the sword saint. The two ends up getting stringed along into a huge generational feud and struggle against fate. The pair falls in love and goes through a lot of different obstacles to be with one another and they also have to save the world. Fans also recently spotted Neo Ho in his costume and wig for his upcoming drama Back from the Brink. It's currently filming and the leads are Neo Ho and Jo Ye. The two did do a magazine collab to promote it at first, but the genre and the synopsis was kept under wraps, but it seems to be a historical drama and based off of some other information online, it is a wuxia fantasy. Tencent also recently announced they have a new female-centric modern drama called Trio in Chengdu. They held its filming ceremony on October 14th with the leads Song Yi, Sharmin She, and Li Chen. No synopsis was provided, but based off of the title and the genre, you can expect lots of female friendships, female empowerment, and perhaps maybe even multiple couples like in most other dramas and office romances. And this video was supposed to stop there, but some unexpected news came up and it's very unfortunate. So I decided to add it in anyways. But recently, Lo yun Shi's face was injured while filming Light Chaser Rescue, a drama with Janice Wu. And he said that he's flying to Shanghai for a detailed Check up. There's not too much news at the time that I'm filming this anymore, but we hope and pray for his safety. If we get an official announcement or updates on this, on how injured he is and what happened with the injury, how it happened, I'll definitely give you guys a full rundown in the next episode. So make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.